Hello, homeschool families. I would love to share with you my experience with my father's world exploring countries and cultures. So watch this. Okay, I am so glad you're here. My name is Ashley, if you're new here, and I like to share about homeschooling resources and supplies uh, while you're on a budget and not spending tons and tons of money. I am excited to share with you our one year with My Father's World. You're actually probably curious how we did My Father's World on a budget. Um, I have some secrets though that I want to share with you uh, later on in the video. So if you're new here, feel free to subscribe and hit the like button if you'd like to see more videos like this. I'm gonna be sharing with you what I did with my kids, and then I will give you a peek of what My Father's World Exploring Countries and Cultures looks like if you're interested in using it for your family. So let's get started. First off, I picked this one because it is the, uh, the first cycle in the family plan. When, when you look at My Father's World, you can see they have cycles for grades three through eighth grade, and you have five different cycles that you go through, and this was the first one. And I actually joined this one, even though my daughter was a second grader and my son was kindergarten. But we wanted to join a co-op group with our friends, and we met weekly uh, doing many of the activities that were in here all together. So we decided to go ahead and jump on board with this because I could adapt it to any age. And my friends who had the older kids did a lot of the activities that were required in here. I just modified the activities or didn't do all of them. What is My Father's World Exploring Countries and Cultures? It is actually an overview of each continent, going over geography, the biomes, habitats, and basic culture around the world. And we started in North America, we hit all the major countries in North America, then we moved to South America, and then we did Europe, and then we did Africa, and then we did, um, what came after that? Asia, and then we ended with Australia and Antarctica um, in that area. So I liked how this was unit study based. This included Bible, math drills, geography, which was huge obviously, science, and music and art. Um, and I loved that we were able to cover, cover all of those things in this one curriculum. So we did units each week on one country for two weeks. So for example, Mexico, we did deserts and we looked at what animals lived in the deserts, what, what that was like there. And we did some songs that came from Mexico and we learned some of the Spanish language as well. It was very much just a taste of that country and you, you didn't have to go too deep into it. It was just getting your toes wet. Um, to figure out what that country is like and how it's different from our country. We loved that. The other thing I liked was that Bible was included and we ended up reading through the whole book of Matthew, um, just a few verses at a time each day. Um, we also memorized scripture from Matthew, tons of scripture. We, we were able to quote them by the end of the unit and they knew, they knew these verses from Matthew. So that was really, really neat. Just focusing on Jesus and going to the nations and loving people and who Jesus is. So it was really, really great. The other thing I liked was the geography game that it came with. So for each unit, when you did a continent, um, you got a sheet with the continent and then all the countries on it as well. So they look like this. And then you have the cards that go with it and you draw the cards. Each child or each person playing has to determine where that country is on the map. So you pull the United States card, the child has to point and mark United States. Then you pull the Mexico card, the child has to find and mark Mexico, and so on and so forth. So at the beginning, we only played with one continent, but as we went on, we were able to play with all seven continents and the kids could practice finding the countries. Since mine were only five and seven, I didn't make them memorize every country in every continent. That's quite a huge feat, but we did most of them and we did songs. A lot of them I found on YouTube. Some of them we even made up ourselves so we could memorize the, um, the countries in the continent. All right, so we also, for our co-op, we pretended to travel to that country. So all the kids got little passports and we put stamps on them and then we taught them some different parts of the languages. They had a little snack that represented that, that country that we traveled to. Um, we even pulled out some 
play money for them to practice with so they could see what the real money looked like. These are all just play money, yens it looks like. And that was really fun to do with our friends in co-op. We did, we did songs. The album that we did was the We Sing Around the World. There are songs from each of the countries that we studied and continents that we studied. And the kids got to hear the different music styles and songs from each continent. So that was really fun too. For science, we learned about the biomes and the habitats and lots of animals. And the books that they recommended that we did was the Osborne Living World Encyclopedia and the Properties of Ecosystems book. So this was fairly simple. This one was really great. I loved this one. They had lots of great pictures there. And then little blurbs here to explain what was on the page. Um, so that was the one in the desert. Um, each of the different regions and biomes the book explained. Um, and this, this one, I could, I could hand it to my seven-year-old and she could go and look at it herself. This one had quite a bit more reading to do, but I would just read it to the kids while they colored a picture. And we would just talk about what we learned about that biome and the, those ecosystems. I keep saying biome, but I mean ecosystems as well. So we did lots of animals and lots of um, biomes and ecosystems, and, and we had a lot of fun with that. My other favorite thing to do was go to the library and check out all the books on the country and the continent and the biome that we were doing. That made homeschooling this year with my father's world really fun and really easy and enjoyable. So I, every afternoon I would get all the... I would get all the books out, lay it on the living room floor, and we'd just pick books and just start reading them. And we'd talk about what we saw in the books, and or we wouldn't at all. We would just read the books. And I remember after doing that that the kids learned and knew so much about these other cultures that they got to learn about. So the My Father's World teacher guide comes with the book list in the back of the teacher's guide. And that's where I got all the books that we decided to read for that. There was also another book I read. It was um, Around the World reading around the world with your children, something like that. I need to look it up. I will put a link in the description box below for that one. And that was written by um, a mom who loved to travel, but she also wanted her kids to read um, about different cultures. That's another really great book list that we chose from in addition to this one. So what do my kids love the most? Their favorite parts of this was mostly Japan. So we got this book for origami to do with Japan and it came with some origami paper and my daughter loved this and she was even working on this today and we're not even doing school, but she loved doing the origami and this book just taught you simple folds and simple activities and she, she loved this. The origami was some of her favorite things. My son, my five-year-old, his, his favorite part was Japan also, and he loved learning about ninjas. And that was actually not in our curriculum, but we had did a small unit on Japan last year, so I wanted to switch it up and do something new this year. So I knew they hadn't learned about ninjas yet. So I went to the library, I put on hold all the ninja books I could find. Uh, we found some ninja videos on YouTube, and they loved it. They even ended up making um, some ninja costumes with the ski mask. It was just a black hat, and we cut eye holes for them, and they put on their, their ninja mask, and they wore their black clothes. But I know that is what I'm probably gonna remember the most from this, but that was really, really fun. Uh, my daughter also loved learning about the oceans. So all the ocean habitats and ecosystems that we studied throughout the year, that was always her favorite. All these ocean animals, and she loved that. So that was also our favorite part. All right, so now that I've talked about all this, you're gonna ask me, Ashley, how in the world did you find this affordable? Because most of the time, if you go to the My Father's World website, you will find this in a box. This is called a box curriculum. And you will get, you order one thing and you get everything in it and it comes to your house in one box and then you're good to go for school. I did not want to do that because when I looked at the price, it was like $400 for one kid. <laughs> and I was gonna have to add maybe another $100 worth of supplies to do a second child. Um, so I was, I put my thinking cap on, I decided how can I make this affordable? And the best thing I did was I bought my books used. This book I bought used and I bought it on eBay. These, all three of these, I bought on Amazon. So I did not buy them through my father's world. I, these were recommended and I decided to buy these because I knew we would be using this a lot afterwards even. 
and I knew that these we were going to use throughout the whole year. So I bought these ones as well. There was an atlas I bought as well off of Amazon, I believe. Other than that, I went to the library for all the other books that were needed. Those were the, the four things that I felt like I just needed to buy, and I bought them used and affordably on Amazon and eBay. So that is how I did that. The other thing I did decide to purchase, which I had to get from the My Father's World website, was the student sheets. So these came from, with the geography game and it gave us papers to work on each week um, to color in the biomes, uh, to color in the countries. Uh, this one was the forest, I think. Um, and then we, we had a few activities there and then it came with these really cute sheets for each country like that one's canada and brazil so they each got to color their sheets in japan so there were other things i did buy the passports as well but there were other things that come in the big box curriculum that i decided to to not do and I felt like I could supplement with whatever I had or just not do it and it worked out just fine so there was there's probably another hundred fifty dollars worth of things that they recommended or had but I chose to not do those so I only spent I think it was was it 150 I think I spent like 150 dollars on this um, which the the only thing is the teacher manual this is the most pricey. It was $90 that I spent for this. On the website, I think it's $120. So um, that was the only thing. If you're um, looking at trying to make it affordable, then that's what I would do. So overall, what what is my feelings on exploring countries and cultures? We loved it. It was great. We had a blast doing it with our friends as well and not just doing it by ourselves. We used a synergy guide to to do to be able to do co-op with a lot of these activities like our art and our music and some geography activities and a few science activities as well so we really enjoyed doing that with our friends um, and I I love how I was able to make it work for a five-year-old and a seven-year-old and this is definitely uh, something you can make work for ages five all the way up to eighth grade um, you can easily modify it to get everybody involved get the whole family doing activities together and you're not doing geography and science four different times with however many kids you have. You're doing it one time with all of your children. And I love that about my father's world. So yes, my only negative was the price. I would have liked to spend a little bit less, but we made it work. And I I also ended up, I'm more of a, my, with my style and how I work, I'm, I like to be flexible within the structure. So I didn't necessarily need a structure this structured but for those of you who do like that then I say this is great this is really see they even give you the check boxes to check off what you get done so if you're a check check box type person and you want to be, open the book what do I do on Monday what do I do on Tuesday here you go this is perfect for you um, I am one where I feel like I need a big overview but I don't need an exact what am I doing exactly every day because I like being flexible you know I go with um, I want to make sure I get the work done but I don't have to do it on an exact day every single day so that was the only other negative I would say for me and my style but if that's your style then I say this that's a, that's a pro that you would so love that my other pro would be that um, that it is Christian and that it puts God into everything it put it puts the Lord into science and the Bible stories obviously as well and it wasn't just separating you know Bible from our other studies but God was woven in through everything that we did and I really really liked that so that was also a huge plus that's all I've got for you if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below I will be happy to answer them um, if you would like any other recommendations for how I did this please let me know as well thank you so much for watching I'm so glad you're here I hope you can check out any of my other videos and my playlists below and that is my review for you for my father's world exploring countries and cultures wish you the best for your homeschool family have a great day I'll see you next time he's in the continent so like for Asia um, I was gonna sing it for you but <laughs> I can't remember it how does it go uh, North Korea, Russia, Japan, South Korea, Mongolia, China, the Vietnam, oh.
Philippines, Vin Vin Malaysia, Indonesia, Vietnam. Something like that. <laughs> that was, I butchered that. <laughs>